Hello, I'm Ji Sung, and I'll talk about our work to improve SSD read latency by optimizing read retry. In this work, we tackle SSD performance degradation due to read retry that frequently requires multiple retry steps for reading an address page. Our goal is to reduce the latency of each read retry operation and it proposes two new read retry mechanisms. First, we introduce a pipeline to read retry, PR scale in short, that concurrently performs consecutive retry steps using the advanced cache read command. Second, we introduce the adaptive read retry, AR scale in short, that reduces the read timing parameters for every retry step by exploiting the reliability margin provided by strong error correcting codes. Our proposal improves SSD response time by up to 51% compared to a high-end SSD and by up to 32% compared to a state-of-the-art read retry mediation technique, respectively. I'm going to start my talk with a brief overview of read retry. NAND flash memory stores data by adjusting cell to threshold voltage values. This figure shows a part of the threshold voltage distribution of a page, where each threshold voltage state can be distinguished by using the corresponding read reference voltage values. Various error sources, shift and widen, program the threshold voltage state. If a cell's threshold voltage value moves beyond the corresponding read reference voltage, reading the cell incurs an error. And if the number of such cells becomes larger than the ECC correction capability, it introduces uncorrectable errors. This happens quite frequently in modern SSDs, but increasing ECC capability requires a significant latency, power, and area overheads. To address this, modern SSDs commonly adopt a read retry, which reads the page again with adjusted read reference voltage values. As shown in the figure, doing so significantly reduces the number of raw bit errors in reading the page. Unfortunately, read retry also significantly increases the read latency. Reading a page consists of three steps, page sensing at the chip, data transfer from the chip to the flash controller, and ECC decoding at the flash controller. If the number of bit errors is lower than the ECC correction capability, the read request can be returned immediately after ECC decoding. However, when the number of raw bit errors is higher than the ECC correction capability, the flash controller performs multiple retry steps until it reduces the number of bit errors to be lower than the ECC capability. This, in turn, increases the read latency almost linearly with the number of retry steps. Next, I will present our first technique. Our first key idea is to concurrently perform consecutive retry steps. This is the baseline read retry mechanism. And using the cache read command, PR scale speculatively starts the next retry step as soon as the page sensing of the current retry step is finished. This idea is quite simple, but can significantly reduce the read retry latency by removing data transfer and ECC decoding from the critical path, which contributes almost 30% of the latency of each retry step. Next, let me present our adaptive read retry. This figure shows our pipeline read retry mechanism, and we observe that there always exists a positive ECC margin in the final retry step when read retry succeeds. In this figure, for example, we can see a large ECC margin since there are only 23 bit errors in the final retry step, while the ECC can correct 72 bit errors. AR scale exploits this ECC margin to reduce the read timing parameters for every retry step, which further reduces the read retry latency. However, reducing read timing parameters would inevitably increase the number of raw bit errors, so we need to ensure that the number of the additional errors does not exceed the ECC margin in the final retry step, because otherwise, the ECC decoding of the final retry step would fail. We validate the feasibility of AR scale using 160 real TSC NAND flash chips. We observe that there exists a large ECC margin in the final retry step, even under worst case operating conditions. And there is also a larger reliability margin than manufacturers incorporate into read time parameters. So we conclude that AR scale can easily work in state of the art NAND flash chips, guaranteeing at least 25% 25% reduction of the page sensing latency for every retry step. For system level evaluation, we use a state-of-the-art SSC simulator and 12 real workloads, and our results show that our proposal improves SSC response time by up to 51% compared to a higher end SSD but without read retry mitigation, and by up to 30% compared to a state-of-the-art read retry mitigation technique. Please see our paper for many more detailed studies. Thank you for attending my session, and I'd like to take any question you have at this time.